Dickinson! This is what my face would look like if I could see you right now. But I can't. So, I made you this video! So what's going on with me? Well, as you probably know, I'm in law school. As you probably also know, law school sucks. When I say law school sucks, I mean like, it actually sucks. It's Saturday night. I just got done reading, and I've been reading since noon. Yeah. I'm a pretty fast reader. Yeah. Think of the hardest thing you've ever done academically, like 50 page paper, I don't know, um, reading a book in a week, something like that. Yeah. Just imagine that. Okay? Now multiply that by like 70,000. I have three classes that are substantive. That would be torts, civil procedure, and criminal law. I also have a writing legal practice class, but that's really about like being able to write a memo and talk to people. For my substantive classes, this is the fifth week of class on Monday. I have 55 pages of notes typed out for each class. That's right. Your friend Grace has written a short novel. No, it's kind of a long novel. But I'm really getting at it because I do want to be in law school. And I'm totally excited about being a lawyer. So that I have no free time. I don't take care of myself. And I don't eat well. At all. But just ketchup. Nugget. I love them. They're not delicious. I'm a nug nut. I probably shouldn't be wasting my time making this video, but I have a confession. I have watched probably over a year's worth of John and Hank Green's video log brothers videos in the last 24 hours. So what I'm saying is I am now officially a nerd fighter and I want to make YouTube videos because it's awesome. And no one's ever going to watch this, like it's just for you, but at least this way, I get to make a video and you get to enjoy it. By the way, the Harry Potter Alliance is doing their Equality FTW campaign right now, and if you have a little bit of extra money, you should totally go to the Harry Potter Alliance website and donate. Because it's awesome. The one other housekeeping thing I kind of want to do for you is to let you know that there is a new season of New Girl on Netflix. So if you're not cut up or you don't watch it, you really should. It's probably the best show ever. No. The West Wing is the best show ever. And I apologize to all of the political gods for saying that it wasn't. But New Girl. Zoe Deschanel, as Jessica Day, is my spirit animal. That's not really true either, because we both know my spirit animal is an elephant. Alright, you have asked me two questions in the last few weeks. That's not really true. You ask me questions all the time, but a lot of them are about law school right now. So I'll answer those in another video, because... That's all I do, and I can talk about that forever. First question was, Why is American football called football? Is it supposed to be ironic? Well, I looked it up for you, and actually, both American football and European football, soccer, I apologize, just for clarification, both came from rugby. And in rugby, you can use your feet, or you can carry them off. So, soccer in Europe developed from the part where you can kick the ball. And then us Americans being like we are, you know, awesome, 
decided that we weren't going to do that, and that we would go on the other way with rugby, and our football would be based on that. To actually answer your question, no, I don't think it was meant to be ironic. I think it was meant to be an asshole move. Isn't America just great? Second question was, are letters just like abbreviated sounds? I try to explain this in a text, and I don't know that I got across that way. And I don't think that a letter is an actual abbreviation of a sound. I think it is a symbol that represents a set of sounds. So you have an H, which is a letter, it looks like this, and that H can stand for a bunch of different sounds within our language. And the reason I think this is right is because if you think about other languages, they have other symbols that stand for the same sound. I could be totally wrong on that one, but that's what I was trying to say. Alright, and then one thing I learned in law school this week is that the attorney-client privilege applies to anyone who comes to a lawyer asking for legal advice whether or not they choose to retain that lawyer as their lawyer. So being a law student, if you came up to me and had a legal problem, wanted to talk about it, I couldn't repeat that to anyone, especially if I gave you advice, whether or not you paid me. Like, someone holding a gun up to my head, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Ever. Ever. Which, frankly, is pretty cool. I kind of feel like... Some sort of government spy with high clearance. That's all I got right now, but I hope you enjoyed this. And I will talk to you soon. And I miss you. And keep it classy. Jensen. Why are you following me?